to our channel. So today we're going to be reading Bell. In a quiet little house, there lived a lonely woman and her husband. The woman was a skilled cook who put love and care into everything she made. She especially loved making delicious steamed dumplings called bao. One day, as the woman was about to eat a bao for lunch, it came to life. Bao cried and cried. Suddenly, with a pop, he grew legs, pop, he grew arms, and a body. Bao was the cutest little, the cutest thing the woman has had ever seen. She decided to care and love, love and care for him as though she were his mother. Bao was just a baby, but he grew quickly. He and mom did everything together. They shopped for groceries at the market, and they shared soft, tasty pork buns while riding the bus. Mom and Bao even did Tai Chi in the park. They were, they inseparable. were inseparable. But as Bao continued to grow, things started to change. At the market, Bao wanted to play with other kids. Mom wouldn't let him. She wanted, she wanted to keep him safe. Bao was angry with Mom on the bus. He didn't want to eat with her. And at home, Bao stayed in his room. He wanted to talk to his friends, not hang out with Mom. Mom wouldn't give up. She knew, the, she knew there was one thing that could win Bao back, food. She made all his favorite dishes, spicy tofu, steamed fish, dog choy, sliced beef, green beans, and cu cucumber salad. Mom poured love into each and every one. All the delicious aromas wafted through the house. Mom was happy with her work. It was only a matter of time until Bao came out of his room to eat with her. But Bao had other plans. He jumped into a car with his friends. Bao was an adult now, and Mom couldn't figure out, out how to spend time with him. One day, Mom opened the door to discover Bao was getting married. Bao was ready to move out of the house. He packed his suitcase and said goodbye to Mom. She didn't want him to leave. She begged, pleaded, and pulled. Nothing would let get him to stay. Mom was at the wrist's end. Angry and frustrated, she popped Bao into her mouth and gulped. When she realized what she had done, she cried and cried. Until she woke up in her bedroom. It had all been a dream. She was still sad when suddenly her door opened and a shadow appeared on the wall. On her wall. The shadow looked like Belle, but it was her real son. She had, he had brought pork buns to eat with Mom, just like old times. As she sat, as they sat together, they knew they would always share a love for each other and for Belle. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed Disney Pixar's Bow and stay tuned for another book read coming soon. Take care guys, be safe and make sure you guys are reading. Goodbye. Bye.